Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your High Media TV news update. I am your host. And Israeli tanks pound hospital districts in South Gaza displace set to flee anew by Fadi Shahana, Nadal Al Magrabi, and Dan Williams from Reuters. Latest developments, 20 Palestinians have been killed and 150 injured in Israel airstrike in Gaza City in the north in the north of the enclave while queuing to collect food aid, says spokesperson for Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry. The Israeli military says it's looking into the report. A source briefed on talks to secure a truce and swap hostages held by Hamas for Palestine prisoners, and Israel says that there has been no disruption even after the mediator Qatar rebuked Israel's prime minister for allegedly called the Gulf Arab state problematic in leak recording. Most of the Gaza Strip's 2.3 million population is now squeezed into Khan Yonis in towns just north and south of it after being driven out of its northern half earlier this year in Gaza's military campaign, now in its fourth month. Khan Yonis is encircled by Israeli armed forces and under almost on under almost nonstop aerial and ground fire, resident says, and a huge mushroom-like column of slope billowed skyward from areas of Israeli military operations on Thursday. Palestinian medic says Israeli tanks had cut off and were sheltering targets around the city's two main still-functioning hospitals, Nasir and Al-Amal, trapping medical teams, patients, and displaced people huddled inside or nearby. Israel says that Hamas militants use hospital premises as cover for bases, something the Islamist group and medical staff deny. The Israeli army's siege of Khan Yunus main hospitals and what it calls escalating campaign to eliminate militants in Hamas's main South Gaza bastion has made it near impossible for rescue queues to reach the wounded or collect the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, now, obviously, obviously, you know, people, many people may say that Israel has the right to defend itself here. I would argue that even that even if Hamas was using hospitals as impromptu bases human lives of the people in of both the doctors as well as the sick people in those hospitals are probably important to preserve and bombing them wholesale and preventing people from getting in and out of the hospital like visibly sick people from getting in and out of the hospital is patently wrong uh, that I think as much as obvious, but if I'm being perfectly frank, the reason why they are going this ham in in doing this is obviously because they're it's it's they're trying to kill as many Palestinian people as possible, elicit as much suffering as possible, and try and get as many of them to leave Gaza as possible, so Israeli settlers can then take over the area and have control over it. This is a pretty rudimentary analysis. Um, obviously, the violence in Israel and Pal- and it, obviously the violence against Palestinians has kind of eclipsed the atrocities on January seventh. You know, no one, no one with no one that isn't, you know, a lunatic is, you know, not going to condemn Hamas's actions on the seventh, but. At this point, Israel is obviously targeting civilians, and it's kind of gross, but that being said, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for listening to your High Media TV news update. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership, and please consider going to highmedia.gg slash donate and supporting the show. Appreciate you bunches. Have a good one. Thank you.